Hello, I'm Paul from ClickAlgo.com. I'm going to explain about a new product we've just released called the CTrader Moving Average Instant Alert Messages. Um, this is a tool you can use on your charts with CTrader to actually be informed via SMS, uh, Telegram or email or a pop-up window when certain um, events happen regarding a moving average and the price of a, of a symbol of an instrument. I'll just go through it in more detail in a minute. Um, this is the product page, so if you go to ClickAlgo.com and if you look up um, C Trader Moving Average Instant Alert Messages, it's quite easy, long, it's a long word I know, but if you just go to software C Trader Trading Applications, you should be able to see it there, it's quite easy to find. You, just, you can also type it in the search engine up here, but this is the actual URL you can see up here to access it, okay? Um, so the actual product page will actually explain in more details what type of alerts they are. There's a, when the moving average rises above the symbol price, when the moving average falls below the symbol price, when the symbol price rises above the moving average, when the symbol price falls below the moving average, when the moving average rises above the, a predefined symbol price level, so you can pre have a predefined price, uh, when the moving average moves above that or below that, you can also have an alert. Um, you can also choose a bid, ask, open, close, high or low, okay? Um, there are seven different types of uh, moving averages, I'll go through them in a minute. Um, you've got options to be informed when these events occur, so you've got an MS SMS that can be sent to you, uh, you've got a telegram message, which is a free messaging service that can be uh, pushed onto your phone immediately as soon as it happens. These are instant messages. You've got emails, which are not so instant, but they're still only a few seconds behind. Um, I'll go through here now. You've got the different types of moving average. You've got simple, exponential, time series, triangular, video, weighted, and wild or smooth. Okay? And you can also change the periods and the source. Um, so this will tell you in more detail the product page, uh, how to actually set it up, okay? And I'm going to put the video at the bottom of this product page as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the C Trader now, and I'm going to show you how to actually run this software using C Trader. So when you first open up C Trader, you should see something similar without obviously the uh, indicators I've got on the screen. Um, you'll have your symbols appear on a symbols tab. You just click on the tab that says CBOTS, and then you when you install it by double click on it once you've downloaded it, if you've got the trial version or the full version, um, it'll actually auto install just by double clicking the file. You just drag the CBOT onto the chart. Okay, once you do that, you'll see modify parameters. Now you can have multiple indicators or these uh, robots on one chart, so you can have different time frame alerts. So you can have hourly, daily, monthly, 15 minutes, 6 hours, and you can have an alert each time. Um, a price event occurs, okay? When you first set up your um, moving average um, alert indicator, it comes up with some parameters you want to set, okay? Even though the chart is one hour, you can set the time frame to anything you want. So I'm going to do five minutes, okay? You can choose the source as being high, low, close, or open. You can choose the type of parameter you want, uh, sorry, the type of indicator. So you can have simple, exponential, as I mentioned before, and all the others. There's seven different types. I'm going to go wild or smoothing. You can also specify the periods. So I'm going to go 25. I'm going to apply that. Okay, it doesn't do anything. You've just set the parameters. You've got to start the CBOT by clicking on it here. And that's it. It just starts. Now, the first thing you'll see is this little window that you can drag around. It always, it's always on top. When it shows green, it means the price is moving down. Uh, sorry, moving up. So the price is actually, the previous price is higher than the current price. And it does a small calculation to work out which way, which direction the, the actual um, price is going. This is of the, sorry, of the SMA, not of the uh, price, sorry. So let me just get rid of the indicators I've got on, currently got on the screen, just to make it a bit easier for you to see. So this is a wild smoothing, wild smoothing moving average. So I'm going to add that to the chart. Uh, simple moving average. Oops, wrong one. I just want the moving average. So that's a, a common mistake. So... I've got to find it now. Oh no, sorry, my mistakes. It's probably good that I did this. So the actual uh, indicator that I come up on the screen, you can actually choose, it would be the same. So the one I've ch chosen is the same as you actually clicking this one here, Wells Wilder Smoothing, okay? So it's actually got, and the settings I used, which is um, I used periods of, I did close and I did periods of, um, it's off the screen, I did 25. So I'll add that as well, 25, okay? So that, I'll just get rid of the one simple okay so now you've actually got what you're showing on here this indicator window you've come up is the same as the indicator that's being shown on there you do not need to add the indicator to the chart okay this is just for demonstration purposes so any alerts that occur 
you do not need the indicator on the chart. It's actually built into this uh, little widget here. Okay, now, so these are the different types of alerts you can have. You can see the buttons here, okay? So you've got, uh, for starters, you've got the bottom, you've got the current price of the uh, 13709, the current price of the moving average. So if I put it there, it's 137407. So it's the same as that, okay? So again, as the moving average is dropping, that'll go uh, red, and as it's rising, it'll go green. So this is the current price at the bottom of the moving average that you've specified here, okay? I'll just go back out of that. So now you, what you have is these little buttons, okay? So the first button, if you move your mouse over it, it should actually tell me. No, it's not telling me. But what you've got is, you should have like a pop-up window to tell you what it actually is for. But what this one is, if I click on it, it comes up to the alert window to, to set the alert for that uh, for that button, okay? So you've got, in this case, you've got the moving average rises above the bid price, okay? You can see at the moment, it hasn't. The moving average is below the bid price, so no alarm will occur for that. So I'm just going to close that one because they're all pretty much similar. And this one is, here they've come back now, create an alert when the moving average falls below the symbol price, okay? And on the chart, that has actually, that event has occurred. So I'm going to click on that. I'm then going to say, uh, when the bid price, when the moving average drops below the bid price, the message I want to display is, uh, the moving average has dropped below the bid price. Now, if you've got, if your language is in English, uh, you can type in your own um, language in this text box. You can have your own alert come up, not in English, but in your own language. I'm just going to put hello. Um, I'm going to put MA below bid price. Okay. Now, the alert I want is pop-up. I'm just going to do a simple pop-up. But you've got the option to choose pop-up, email, telegram, or SMS. Okay. So, pop-up would be if you're in your charts and you've got, and you're 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 doing manual trading, and it will tell you, and you'll you'll say you're looking at lots of different charts. Um, you can have as many of these indicators up on your uh, chart as you want on your screen. So on different time frames, so you can be informed immediately as soon as one of these price event occurs. It will tell you. Okay, if you're not at your chart and you're away working somewhere or you're on the phone and you want to know when the price moves above a moving average, because sometimes when the price hits a moving average, it actually uh, rebounds. Um, and it goes the other way. So that's quite a common thing to happen, okay? So I'm just going to say pop up. Um, and now this bit here where it says rearm alert after, what that is, it means that when that event occurs, like the move, in this case, the moving average uh, price drops below the bid price, you only want the alert to happen once. And then 15 minutes later, you want to check again to see if that's, that is still valid, okay? Uh, so you only want the alert to happen once. So you can rearm it after... Uh, you can use minutes, hours, or days. So you can choose when you want it to rearm, so you don't get multiple signals. Um, so I'm just going to do a pop-up, and I'm going to activate that alert now. And you can see straight away, because the bid price, sorry, these uh, moving average price is below the current bid price, it's come up with a pop-up alert. And there it is. All right. So that's just a pop-up alert. You can actually have, like I said, all the others. I'll go through them in a minute. Um, and that alert is activated, and because it's activated, you can see the little red triangle. So on this, the red triangle means um, that the alert is actually activated. You can turn off that alert at any time just by clicking Cancel Alert. The red triangle is gone, and the alert is cancelled, okay? Uh, the other one you can do is create a trigger when the symbol price rises above the moving average. And that's happened in this case. The symbol price has moved above moving average. That will actually signal alert. Um, and then you've got... Uh, symbol price moves below the moving average, sorry, that one there. And then you've got one here, create an alert when the moving average drops below a set price value, okay? So I'm going to say the set price value is, uh, in this case, the moving average drops below the set price value, see if it goes 137411, 1.37411. So I've got 1.37411, that's the current price almost. 37414. So if it goes below this price value, so if the price drops below that value, it will actually uh, indicate, it will fire up this alert here, okay? So I'm going to turn that on, and it's done it, okay? So what I'm going to do now is cancel that event. So these are the four uh, different type of events you can get, okay? So I'll just quickly go through them again. So you've got uh, when the moving, moving average price rises above the symbol price. You've got uh, when the moving average falls below the symbol price. You've got when the symbol price rises above the moving average. 
And again, you can specify different types of symbol price. You can have ask, bid, open, high, low, or close. So you can have out of the candle structure, you can choose any one of those prices to actually uh, dictate if the alert occurs, okay? Uh, and you've got an alert when the moving average drops below a set price value or above a set price value. Okay, these are the alerts that can occur. It is, now, this indicator isn't just these. There's more to it than that. I'll just go through. I'm going to do another video separately, actually, so it won't go too long, to actually show you how to set up your email, telegram, and SMS. So a separate video will show you how to set all of this up, okay? Um, and then I'm going to do another video that will actually go and show you how to add multiple of these onto a chart with different time frames and how to manage that. Okay, how to actually get multiple alerts for different time frames, like for daily, hourly, and all the rest of it. Okay, so that's just going to show you this video is just going to show you briefly uh, how to add the robot onto the chart and then the different types of alerts that you can get. Okay.